Aliens TV. We are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can see on the screen right now. If you are going to do a bit of business in 2022, then please keep it in the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below or on our website www.lionstv.co.uk This is your preview show looking ahead to Tuesday night's trip to Swansea City. As always, let's start out by taking a look at the 11 that Gary Rowett might pick to get the job done. Okay, so on the back of a very exciting, dramatic and draining, especially on my voice, win over Coventry on Saturday. Tomorrow night we travel to South Wales and try and bring something back from the valleys. Never an easy place to go and we do have injury trouble. Zion Fleming already out. Tom Bradshaw already out. They're joined to the sidelines now by Mason Bennett who has a hamstring injury grade two or something, whatever that is, but he's had a plenty of money and he will be out for around eight weeks, Gary Rowett has told news at Den this morning. So we are light up front of course though, we do have Andreas Walsamer, the German striker who joined the Lions last week, was ineligible against Coventry due to his work permit not yet arriving, so the Lions will be desperate to get that over the line and get him in or around the start in 11. There is a case, of course, that Tyler Bury should start, and that's exactly who I would start, along with Benneke Fobi. I would get Hutchinson, Leonard, and George Savile back in the starting lineup, and I'd also get out the starting lineup, Shackleton and Creswell. I think it will benefit the pair of them in the long run. I'm not saying they won't be beneficial to us, but they definitely, definitely need a rest. Creswell scored two goals on the opening day, yes. But he's been horrendous since then, in my opinion, if I'm honest. And Shackleton, as I said before, was just brought into it very, very quickly. And I think him and Mitchell in midfield, although it's live, although it's energy, I just think we really would benefit from a bit of experience in there. So I'll probably put Hutchinson in. I'll put Murray Wallace left wing back. It'll be the team, I'll show you now, that would have been the team I would have gone with against Coventry. The only change now would be, I did say in that preview as well, Bury or Alafay until one of them to take the ball by the horns, which Tyler Bury definitely did do on Saturday after coming on as an early substitute for Mason Bennett. So let's move on to our opposition. As I've already said, it is Swansea City by all, managed by Russell Martin. They are renowned for playing lovely, tippy-tappy, new age, clock pop, whatever you want to call it, football out the back, but defensive mistakes do seem to cost them. And I feel that the Swansea fans are starting to get restless. I think we went there last season. Definitely went there last season and I was speaking to one of their fans then after the game and he said, you know, we need to give Martin time. He does play nice football, you know, in his sides, but he needs time to, to build. It hasn't really happened for him. They did make a late surge for the playoffs back in the last season, but that petered out and they haven't started fantastic. Opening day, 1-1 away at Rotherham, followed up by a 3-0 defeat at Ewood Park and an exit in the EFL Cup on penalties to League one Oxford left them going into last time out without a win until, of course, they visited Blackpool on Saturday and they got off of the mark, winning one goal to nil on the road. So on their return back to whatever their stadium's called, they'll be looking to get three points on the board against the Lions tomorrow night. And so this is your pre-match prediction. And here we go. I got Coventry right, didn't I? I said half-time, full-time, we come back and beat them, and we did. What do I think will happen tomorrow? I'm going to go for a boring nil-nil draw, unfortunately, but it will be a good point on the road. Look, right Cambridge off now, right that cup match off, doesn't matter. We're out, loads of championship teams are out. Let's focus on the league, let's focus on getting nearer those playoffs, and we've won 75% of our home games. 1-2, lost one, yet to draw, so I'm going for a nil-nil draw. So that's your lot for this preview show. It felt very, very brief. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Oh, tomorrow night, I'm not going. I wasn't going because I should have been operated on, on Wednesday morning, but that didn't happen or isn't now going to happen. So I would have been obviously at home waiting to go in hospital. But as I said in one of my previous videos, my operation has been put back, which has thrown my schedule a little bit off. So after our 3 2 win, I felt I owed it to the team to go to Swansea tomorrow night. But I've got a wedding this week, I've got loads going on, I've got to go into work. And I'm still struggling for the weekend a little bit. So I'm going to sit it out. And of course, I will be live streaming from the South Coast, actually, down in sunny Rye Harbour. So tune in tomorrow for a live stream. If you can't make Swansea, if you are going, 
Fair play for travelling. Let's hope you have a good night and we can bring home the three points. There will be a full-time reaction from the ground. Mr. Madness himself, Regal Elevators, Mr. Wallpaper, DJ Crazy Kev. Call him what you like, but he's making the trip up. All the best to you travelling. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.